So before we move to the bias, just let's do a little bit overview on the motherboard, the H110 uh, Pro plus BTC. Uh, it's pretty simple um, motherboard. The only uh, preference it is is for mining. I will not be using it for any gaming or any other thing. I like it has a two reset button there. So if you want to power up the first time, you don't need to create any jumper cables or anything. Just press right there and we'll start automatically. And normally when you run this in a rig, you won't have anything on it. Uh, just a power supply to turn it on and off. You set the bias to when you shut the power and comes back again, we'll automatically turn it on. Uh, this one is 13, uh, 13 GPUs. Uh, the only thing I was a little disappointed in this is they are too close to each other. So when you put the racing car, I was worried the end of the car, the solder is not too good. Uh, it's not been done perfect in China. So what I did, I have to put some dummy insulator between each car. Make sure you power up uh, the two boards for the Molex connector. You have to connect those. If not, you're not going to get any mining. A lot of people went to that. And this is why it's not working. Because you forget to put the power. Right there, we got the uh, video. And we got two USB 2.0 and uh, 3.0 Ethernet card and audio jacks. We're going to be using any audio jacks for the purpose of this motherboard right now. And more uh, uh, USB. Uh, like I said before, be careful with that. When you put the resin card, you will notice they are real close to each other. And the other side, like I said before, right there we have to connect your uh, Molex power. If not, it's not going to be working. And there you have, if you want to use a SATA connector for power. So either you can use the Molex connector or if your power supply has a SATA, you can use the SATA connector. And then we got some extensions for uh, serial port and other stuff. And then right next to the side, we got the typical connectors for your power, LED, and reset. And right there, we got the SATA. I guess I'm not going to be using the SATA. I guess I'm going to be using this on Simply Mining. Simply Mining, the only thing required is, is USB, uh, USB uh, time drive. So that way, you don't need to spend money on an expensive hard drive or any other hard drive. Uh, 32 gig uh, USB, USB um, time drive will be perfect to put up on uh, with Simply Mining. So let's actually move on to uh, the bias and I show you right away how to configure the bias. So right away we are in the bias uh, configuration panel. Uh, on this GPU configuration, we're not going to play anything. We're going to leave it the way it is. So do not touch anything. We're going to leave it as default. We're not going to be doing any overclocking or anything. Right there, we're going to leave it the way it is. No changes. The only thing there, yes, I want to use my graphics card just to program this for the first time to see if it works. So I'm going to use the internal graphics card. Uh, Partner Warner will disable that. You need to enable that. By default, comes enable anyway, yes, for you to be able to mine. Normally, we can be using Gym 2, but we're going to leave it automatic. It did work fine when I try this. We're going to leave that at default. The rest, we're not going to be touching anything. We'll leave it the way it is. Audio, we're going to turn it off. We don't need any audio. Less things we got on is better. You know, less thing it, things can go wrong. So we don't, we don't need any audio. Storage configuration. In that case, I will turn it off because I'm going to be using a USB uh, drive. I don't need any serial port. So we're going to shut down the serial port. I don't need, I'm not going to be doing any printer. So we're going to shut that one off. So anything you're not going to be using. That. I'm going to leave it the way it is, even though I'm not going to be using a keyboard or anything, but we'll just leave it there. That will leave it the way it is. Trust computer enable, not play with anything. And you can do an update if you want. I didn't do any update. It works fine. The only problem I have in here is because of my screen resolution. It's, for me, it's hard for me to show you. Uh, there is one that you need to say when power is lost, so in my case, I'm going to set up the USB. When power is lost, you want to make sure the computer becomes back again. So we want fast boot up. And that will be this screen right in the bottom. So because what you want, in case your rig goes off, okay, 
and the power comes back again, you want it to reboot automatically. So you got to choose that. If power goes off, state comes on automatically. You save it. Uh, so I couldn't show you that, but it goes through my video card, and it seems they don't want to display that section. So what I'm going to do now, um, yeah, I disable that. We're going to reset, and we're going to start simply mining. So it's pretty simple. You just got to go and shut down things you're not going to use. Mario port, CD port. I know you're using the drive. I'm not going to be playing anything with the CPU. We want we want fast boot anyway. And we want to make sure we set up in case the computer goes off, comes on right away. And it's pretty easy if you only reset because you can shut your power off, come back again, turn it on a few seconds, and technically you're done. So after we shut everything off, uh, we're going to be resetting in a second. So let's save it. And that's it. So I already put my USB drive on it and should we uh, start mining. All right, so we see. Start mining. We're well, no problem. I, as you see there, set it up right away. It works perfect. It's pretty cheap compared to what it used to be a year ago. Now you can run 13 GPUs in one rig. You got to make sure you have some good power supplies. If you want to get this motherboard right below the video, I have the link for you. If you have any questions or any doubt, you can always leave a comment right below the video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.